Okay, my friends, it's Roger. This is extremely, extremely important you listen to me and tell this to everyone you know. Be certain, absolutely certain, you have a healthy gut, which means probiotics in most cases, because almost everybody's gut has been infected or d damaged in one way or another by antibiotics or some of the things we've been f eating from sources that are, you know, may can have pesticides and who knows what in them. But once you have damaged the microbiota of your gut, you cannot create the products that you need to be healthy. Consider this. 100% of what you are is from what you ate. 100%. So it all has to turn into eyeballs and eardrums and toenails and everything in your body. Now, how do you think that happens? That is not an accident. I have studied this extremely well. And bacteria create enzymes. Enzymes are the chemicals and the chemistry that break the molecules up, that create the products to make all of those things that are you. You hear me? If you don't have those enzymes to make those products, you are going to be lacking and you are going to have some kind of an issue with your bodily tissue. Because 100% of it is from what you eat. So, what happens then? Well, it's just you, you tr your body tries to work around and do what you can. And now, a lot of guys he won't eat the right stuff. Well, what can we do? Well, you know, make it a little red and do this and do that. And, you know, and then you get your infections, you get your chronic diseases. If you take probiotics almost instantly, these things go away. COVID-19 is almost, in my mind, almost absolutely certain to be affected in a positive way by probiotics. I have 85,000 plus people on my YouTube channel and zero, zero that are taking probiotics have reported COVID-19, zero. And I had one guy said I was in the house and everybody else had except me and I'm the only one taking probiotics. And now this is a public health article saying exactly the same thing. Using probiotics to flatten the curve of co coronavirus disease, pandemic 2019. They have, and, and this is very well documented, and they are talking about all these different, you know, trials and tests and things that are 100% positive for probiotics and when they go to all of these other types of things they're trying to create these they don't have any any track record on them like they do with the probiotics and the probiotics are curing all these things I mean not just the uh, respiratory tract infections RTIs I mean uh, almost a hundred percent of everything and I'm, I'm telling you, nobody gets sick when they're taking the probiotics. It's, it's systemic. It takes care of all kinds of things, skin and, uh, you know, everything. And it's because it's, it's your gastrointestinal. If you're not having an upset stomach and problems with dysbiosis in your stomach, you know, in your, you know it just doesn't feel right. You're going to be okay if, if your stomach's feeling good. Just listen to Hippocrates. And then they go through the safety and everything. Here's a summary. And you should come up here and read this. I'll try to link it. In summary, orally administered probiotic strains can reduce the incidence and severity of viral respiratory tract infections. At a time when doctors are using drugs with little anti-COVID-19 data, they have no clue how these things are going to work because they are intervention drugs that damage something else. Probiotic strains documented for antiviral and respiratory activities, you know, not low quality undocumented imitations. These are good quality studies 
should become part of the arm, arm and, uh, armatarium to reduce the burden and severity of these pandemics. Remember, 85,000, zero. If anybody's got had an issue, I want to hear about it because I've asked for over and over and over and over. And I'm a loud guy. And not zero has reported having that COVID-19 that it's taken probiotics regularly. Now, government funding is being used to test numerous drugs, but just as important, they should fund probiotic trials. Absolutely. They're not talking about probiotics at all. And I'm telling you right now, I got, I got a feeling you take probiotics, you can just do it anything you want. And you know, you're, you're in good shape. It says, in addition, use of recognized prebiotics to enhance propagation of probiotic strains and indigenous beneficial microbes should be recommended as part of the overall strategy to flatten the curve. Right now, people that don't have the correct enzymes in their gut, they're going to be attacked. Their body's not going to be able to create the rubbery substance that is in your lungs. There's something in your lungs. It's called interstitium. And it's and there's collagen bundles and so forth, and they turn, they they lose their elasticity. Why I don't know, but some form of bacterial enzyme is supposed to create something, whether it kills the thing that's attacking you, or it creates a product that your body can't create. I have a feeling it's. Something is, is attacking you. Now, is it, is it overwhelming your system? Or is it, is it consuming something your body needs to make that structure, you know, your, your lung do this and that? Because that's what's happening. It's stopping. It won't do it. It won't, it, it, they turn like, like into a sponge that won't, won't go down and come back up. It's just sort of a waterlogged sponge. So this, this, I'm telling you, take the anti, I mean the uh, prebiotics and the um, probiotics, and then go about your life. As far as I'm concerned, that's what I would do, and that's what I am doing. But I don't go out much either, so. <laughs>